spatial augmented reality cannot edit the appearance of glossy surfaces. Because glossy surfaces reflect projected light mostly to the specular direction, only a small portion of a projected image can be observed from a single viewpoint as a specular highlight. In this paper, we propose a novel SAR framework to edit the appearance of physical glossy surfaces. The key idea is utilizing the specular reflection, which was a major distractor in conventional SAR systems, namely, we spatially manipulate the appearance of an environmental surface, which is observed through the specular reflection. We refer to this method as augmented environment mapping, AEM. We consider three approaches of implementing AEM. The first approach is immersive AEM. In this approach, we place projection screens or flat panel displays around a target glossy surface. In the initial state, the surface shows the reflection of the display. When we display the conference logo on the display, the logo appears on the glossy surface. We call this type of implementation as immersive AEM. We implemented the immersive AEM using a stereo projection system and back projection screen. The target object in this setup was a flat mirror plate. This is the view of a tracked handheld camcorder. When AEM was not applied, the target object was just appeared to be a normal glossy surface. The displayed image reflected on the surface was moved according to the camera's movement. On the other hand, we confirm that the AEM technique successfully altered the appearance of the glossy surface to the target one, and made it stable for different viewing positions. The second approach is see-through AEM. Projection screens or flat panel displays are placed around a glossy surface. This approach takes into account the color of the environment outside the display system. We capture the environmental scenes reflected on the target surface using a normal camera. A displayed image is computed by composing the appearance of the environment and the target appearance. We call this type of implementation a see-through AEM. It can accurately change the surface appearance and convey real-world contexts. We implemented the see-through AEM using an LCD monitor. The target glossy surface was the same flat mirror used in the previous experiment. The conference logo was shown on the mirror. When the view position is moved, the logo is stable on the specular surface, while the appearance of the background was moved according to the motion parallax. We confirmed that our see-through AEM technique successfully altered the appearance of the glossy surface to the target one with the environment. The third approach is spatial AEM. This method does not use any flat panel displays. Instead, it uses projectors to augment environments. Namely, the surface appearance of a glossy object is edited by projected imagery on environmental surfaces. We call this type of implementation as spatial AEM. We implemented the spatial AEM using a stereo projection system. The target object in this setup was a bended mirror. When the spatial AEM is applied, the projected image is moved according to the observer's view position. The surface appearance is successfully altered to the target one, even when the observing position is moved. Once the system was turned off, the appearance of the glossy surface turned back to a normal mirror. Here is another example of the spatial AEM. Conventional projection mapping systems have been limited to a scene where only diffuse surfaces exist. 
We overcome this limitation by integrating our AEM framework with projection mapping. In this example, we would like to manipulate the appearance of a surface containing both diffuse and specular areas, as shown here. Projected images on the specular surface, a colorful apple, is not observable in the projection mapping only setup. On the other hand, the combination of projection mapping and AEM can consistently display image contents.